What's going on, everybody? This is Jack with Trading Tribe. Excited to be back at it today with another really helpful kind of video lesson, if you will. We are going to look at natural gas once again, just to illustrate kind of my point today. But today we're going to really look at the flip side to our last video, which was how to spot bullish weakness. Now we're going to look at how to spot bearish weakness. So when you're a trader in the markets, regardless of if you're a day trader or a swing trader or even an investor, right, this is all going to be really applicable for the current recession as well. We do need to be able to spot when a downtrend is over or when a downtrend is weakening, if you will. And today we're going to look at natural gas because it actually is in a downtrend. So it's a really good example and is something as a trend trader that I really do focus on on a daily basis. So hopefully this brings a lot of value. Hopefully this is really applicable to your trading as well. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel for a lot more trading tips kind of coming out in the future. And hopefully this is valuable for you as well. And when we're looking at a downtrend, right, first first off, we do want to remind ourselves, right, a downtrend in trading is defined as just lower lows and lower highs, right? So think of a big wave and a downtrend will form in kind of different ways, but at the end of the day, it's making lower lows and lower highs. So in terms of spotting a downtrend, that's really what we use to actually analyze the chart and figure out if we're in a downtrend or not. One thing I like to do before looking at the actual trend of a given day is look at kind of that long term time frame. And even if we jump up to just our five day chart to see kind of what price action has looked like in the last couple of days here, we're going to notice that natural gas really is in an uptrend over time, right? So it's making higher highs and higher lows. Higher highs and higher lows. So something to always keep in mind is those higher time frames in trading always have more strength than the lower time frames. So today we're in a downtrend, but on the long term chart, we're actually in an uptrend. So first thing to always keep in mind is when those conflict, you're always going to give weight to that long term time frame over the short term time frame. So if we look yesterday, actually natural gas made a huge move up, right? So today being a downtrend kind of makes sense, right? The, the markets will never go straight up, right? They're always going to have little pullbacks. But one thing we do have to be careful of is we are at a prior ceiling currently. So last time we were at this level, it was a ceiling. It was a ceiling. We broke out of that ceiling and then we ended up coming back to that level and bouncing. So at the end of the day, if we look at today, right, today was a downtrend, but it was a downtrend into that long term support level. And you'll notice the downtrend stopped exactly at that level we just looked at. So the way trading works again is downtrends will always occur in the markets, but if they do not align with the higher time frames, right, they're going to be a lot weaker and they're going to have a lot less follow through. And the one thing to keep in mind is when those lower lows and lower highs stop. So we'll notice the lower lows stopped pretty early in the morning today, but it stopped making lower lows kind of three times in a row. So it had a kind of a triple bottom. And then you'll notice, right, it started making higher highs. So right around 420 in the morning, it actually made a higher high and another higher high and another higher high. And at the end of the day, it's kind of turned into an uptrend actually today. But something really important to notice is downtrends should always be making lower highs and lower lows. When that stops, the downtrend is definitely weakening. So the strength of that downtrend or the, the bearish strength, we like to call it, is definitely weakening. 
And we always want to keep in mind those higher time frames because we'll notice today, for example, it weakened exactly where we thought it would, right? If we go to the five day chart, that's going to be a major level because we struggled there first. We broke out of that level and then just natural support and resistance levels, typically prior ceilings turn into floors when they're broken. So sure enough, price broke out of that level, came right back to that level, almost to the penny, and bounced. So hopefully this really helps you guys. It's really important when trend trading or just learning where to take trades, right? We don't want to be shorting on a day like this just because we wake up and it's a downtrend, right? We want to be really cognizant of is the trend still happening? Is it a trend continuation? Or is the trend slowing down? And hopefully some of these tips and tricks today can really help with how to actually structure trades and how to understand if that bearish strength is still going. So hopefully you liked the video today. We have plenty more on the agenda coming up here pretty soon. So super excited about some of the content here. And thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great week.